So um, we're going to look at our library like, control console this week. And a big reason for that is because our living meridian runs along the inside of the leg. And spring is a really nice time for cleansing the liver. And just like we're talking about with plants, like kind of coming to life. And so we're just going to focus on that. And that wide legged forward fold is this. And so we're going to look at different variations, kind of with you can hold big toes and make the elbows square. You can bring the arms here. You can bring the arms behind the head. And once you know, that's a short chest, right? So we're going to look at that today throughout the week. And so we're actually going to start in a seated wide legged forward fold and just bring the arms to the blocks and kind of like our yin dragonfly and allow ourselves to just cascade forward and feel the breath. And if that doesn't feel so good on the chest, if you kind of feel like you want to open up the heart more, then you're welcome to just come to your back and do, you know, like our heart bench or a shape with the blocks behind the back too. If you feel like you want to open the heart more. <clears throat> Just dropping into our space, dropping into the season of spring. And just allowing those lungs to just kind of hover over the earth. And maybe with this chin, this chin tucked, thinking about the expansion across the back. Keep those arms relaxed. Even our awareness is softened here to begin our time today. <sighs> Maybe allow the eyes to close. And perhaps just thinking of spring and what spring means to you. Perhaps maybe this practice today is your expression of spring. And perhaps now beginning to breathe in for a count of four. And out for four. And exhale. Breathing out and in. And then one more round of breath. And then exhale. And if you have an intention for your practice, just like the seeds we plant that will later blossom into the big tomato plants or whatever we're intending, imagine that your intention that you plant today lands on fertile soil. And our practice cultivates and nourishes that intention, just like we nourish the seeds that we plant. On an exhale, consider that seed, that sankalpa, to be on fertile soil, to come to fruition. And then gently bringing the shoulders over the hips and bringing the chest up, and bringing those arms off the blocks. We're coming to a seated twist. So maybe bringing that left leg straight in front of the body, and then the right leg across the left leg, or bringing that left ankle in and the leg across, either way is fine. Take those sits bones ground and then roll the shoulders up back and down and maybe clasp those hands on the shin. Mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna start by just moving the chest over to one side. And then we'll exhale over to the other side. And then exhale over to the other side. Mm -hmm. And pause this time. And maybe here we bring that left hand onto the knee and kind of pull that left hand on the knee, open that right arm behind us. 
And just feel that opening maybe across the chest and across the shoulder. One more breath here. And then exhale to bring the right hand back to the shin, the chest forward, the gaze forward, right, and then plant the right hand and open that left arm back. And exhale. One more breath here. And exhale to bring that left hand back to the knee. Mm -hmm. And now let's uncross the foot from the leg and both legs come nice and long. We're gonna rock back into our boat pose. So the heels are on the floor, sits bones ground, shoulders back. Find that center of gravity in the hips. Maybe you lean back, yep. And then bring those heels off one by one. Maybe you straighten the legs. And then from here, maybe bring the palms together. And then bring the hands over to the right. Maybe twist the shoulders. Yep. And then over to the left. And then over to the right. And then we'll go over to the left one more time. And then back to the middle. And now lower those heels to the ground with control. Bring the chest up, the shoulders up. Then the hands on either side. And then we'll bring ourselves to twist on the other. Other side, so the right leg can be long, the left foot across the body, we're that right heel in for our seated twist. Mm -hmm. And then roll the shoulders back. And you fill those lungs with air. Yeah. And then let those lungs relax. We'll first start by twisting only the chest, the hands on the knees. And then exhale through to the other side. And then exhale over to the other side once more. Over to the right. Now bring the heart to the middle. Make sure those six bones are grounded. And as you turn towards the left this time, keep the right hand on the knee and open that left arm back. You might feel this in the side of the hips. Across the chest, maybe on the hands, straightening or the knees. And then exhale to bring that hand forward. Yeah. And then inhale to bring the right arm behind the back. Twisting towards the right. And maybe noticing the lungs here and filling them with air, with breath. And then exhale, bring that right hand forward. Uh huh. Now we're going to uncross the feet. Bring those heels straight and nice and flat. Bring the hands behind the back. Then you bring that right ankle on top of that left thigh. Then walk the heel towards the glute. Maybe you lift the glute and walk the glute towards the heel. For our seated figure four, and flex that right foot towards the knee. Maybe soften the gaze. And just get right in that position when you feel maybe the stretch across the outer hip or that hamstring. The skull bottom meridian on the outer hip that works in tandem with the liver. And you soften that gaze and ground here through the sole of that left foot, the sits bone and the palms. Breathing in through the sole of the foot and the hands. And exhaling through them to ground. On an exhale, slowly slide that left heel down the mat. Bring that right leg to the floor. Let the legs come long. Yes, with the arms up overhead. Exhale to fold forward, flexing the feet. Posture Montanasana, our seated forward fold. Good around the spine, the chin towards the chest. One more breath in. And we'll exhale to sweep the arms past the head, reach them up over the head as the shoulders stack over the hips. Bring the hands down towards the side. Uh -huh. And then we'll bring that right heel to the ground, the hands will come behind us. Bring the left ankle onto that thigh. 
then adjust the heel, adjust the glutes to get that just right position where you feel maybe a stretch in the outer hip. And then exhale to drop into the shape. Flex the left foot towards the left knee. And expand through the chest as we breathe here. Maybe that inner eye is on the tip of the nose. And you guide your awareness to the base of the spine. Grounding the body. One more breath here. Exhale, blink the eyes open if they were closed. Relax the elbows, slide that right foot down to the floor. Bring the left foot to the floor. And now this time, bring those feet a little wider as we bring the shoulders over the hips. So it's a little bit wider, like a seated forward fold. But then you'll bring the arms up. Exhale, twist towards the right. And then as we fold forward, bring that left hand to the edge of that pinky toe. Mm -hmm. Then open that right arm up. So it's kind of a twisted, yep. Yeah. And then exhale to bring that right hand towards the left hand. And inhale to bring the arms up overhead, the chest up over the hips. Square the heart forward between the feet. And then exhale to twist towards the left, the, the heart pointing towards that left foot. Exhale to hinge forward at the waist towards that left foot, the right hand towards the pinky into the foot. And then open the left arm to sky. And if that right hand doesn't reach the pinky toe, bring it to the shin or the knee. But we're crossing the right arm over the body for a seated wide legged twist. And the left arm comes down to the right arm, that right hand. And then we'll inhale to sweep the arms up. Exhale to square the heart forward. And now, as you're ready, on an exhale, hinge forward, bringing those hands between the feet, between the calves, and we'll cascade forward. We'll be here for five counts. In and out. And in and out. And now one more breath in. And we'll exhale to bring the shoulders over the hips. Yeah, and then bring those arms down to the side, bring the legs nice and long. Then we'll exhale over to one side. Let's either come into a forearm plank or a full side plank, whatever you want. On that right side, mm -hmm. one arm to sky, one arm plants. And then as you're ready, lower those hips first, bending that elbow. And then come onto the front of the body, lower down to the elbows, the front of the body, lifting the heart, cleaning the space. And exhale, dropping the breath into the lungs, in the low, low part of the lungs. And breathe in. And then as you're ready, exhale to lower the low ribs. And then press up and then find your side plank on the other side, whether it's forearm or whether it's full side plank, Vashu Sahasana. Just feel that hand grounding and your other arm reaching upward. Just like we're those plants root down and then they spring forth through the soil. And now let's exhale to bring our upward hand down to the earth, coming into plank pose. And find your full plank for three, and two, and one. And let's exhale back to Adho Mukha Stranasana, our downward facing dog. And in our downward facing dog, we'll plant those hands and feet. And maybe notice the lungs. Tops of the lungs here are now lower than the bottom of the lungs. So as we draw the breath in, just imagine cleansing those lungs. Feeling the breath, the body with breath. Inhale. Exhale. And let's inhale, look up at the hands, walking the feet forward, just tiptoe by tiptoe, ending in our forward fold or uttanasana. Bend the knees, let's rise up. 
And then exhale right away to purify the body with breath. And we will sweep the arms up. Just go ahead and do this cleansing motion for a few more rounds. <sighs> And then when you're ready, we'll meet in a mountain pose. <sighs> Grounding your feet, tucking the pelvis, filling those shoulders wide. Let's begin the sun salutation by just bringing those shoulder blades together and then bringing the elbows in front of the body. And then bring the elbows up. And then straighten those arms overhead and then bring those hands down to the side. Right to the awesome. Exhale. Now ah. inhale, arms up overhead, folding forward, Uttanasana. Let's inhale to a flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Inhale, call Kasana, stepping your feet back, grabbing the hands, between the hips. Mm -hmm. Good. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. And exhale back, Baba Mukha Svanasana. Breathe in and out. Four more breaths. So you want to cuddle up the knees. You can cuddle up the knees or get the knees down and straighten the legs. And one more breath. Exhale. Inhale, look up with the hands. Let's step the feet forward this time. Exhale, peer forward fold. Then bend the knees, and we'll inhale to rise up for mountain pose. Kadasana. Let's do that again. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, flat back. Exhale, fold. Let inhale, call across the step in your feet back. Lifting those hips. Let's come into the tops, onto the tops of the feet for our plank pose this time. Breathe in and now lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Ordha Mukha Svanasana. Then exhale back, Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Breathe in and out. One more breath. As you ground the hands, maybe notice the space between the shoulder blades. Maybe imagine turning the hands toward each other. If you're turning the right hand, a doorknob to the right, and the left hand turning a doorknob to the left. And just feel those shoulders kind of turn outward as you just kind of energetically bring the, the hands towards like the thumb and the, the index finger side of the hand. Let's inhale, look at the hands, and then step them forward. Exhale, see your forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold last time. And then let's rise up. And next, I'll bring the hands in front of the heart. Uh huh. You soften the gaze, closing the eyes, feeling the earth beneath the toes. Inhale. And now let's exhale to step that left foot back and keep both of our feet towards the long edge of the mat. We're going to come into our first wide legged forward fold, bring the arms up overhead. And then exhale, bring the hands in front of the heart as you bend the knees and tilt that pelvis back. And exhale, we'll fold forward. The hands can be under the heart. And then once you get the crown of the head parallel with the ground, let's bring the arms up like the T. And then exhale, bring those hands to the shins or towards the ankles, pausing here. Exhale. Let's bend the knees. Let's inhale to rise up to stand. Arms can come overhead. Mm -hmm. Now bring the hands in front of the heart as we exhale over towards the right for side lunge. Mm -hmm. Breathe in. Now exhale, frame that right foot with the hand, the pivot the feet towards the front of the mat, and we'll rise up to a crescent lunge. Mm -hmm. Breathe in. And out. Inhale. Now exhale to lower that left heel to the ground, straighten that right hand, and then exhale to fold halfway down, hinging at the waist. Arm Parza Tanasana, half pyramid, breathe in. And then exhale to bring the hands in front of that right ankle. And here we'll ground that right foot, crown the left foot, keep the weight in the hips. 
crowning the feet, and then open that left arm to the sky for triple nasa. Breathe in. Exhale, bring that left hand down to meet the right and pause at the bottom. And then inhale, open that left arm to the sky. Trikonasana, and pause for three, and two, and one. Exhale, bring that left hand back to meet the right hand. Now let's bend that right knee and rise up to our crescent lunge or actually our warrior one more like it. We can bring the heel off the ground if you want, but keep it down, inhale. Exhale. One more breath in. Now exhale to fold forward, framing that foot. Now pivot the right foot and the left foot towards the long edge, then drop over to the right through side lunge, bring the hands in front of the heart. So now see. Mm -hmm. Inhale. Exhale. Now exhale, straighten our legs, bring the hips to the middle, bring the arms up overhead. Yes, now a slight bend in the knees as we fold forward from our wide legged forward fold. Press our tapayo tanasana. And here we have those lungs, the top of the lungs, below the bottom of the lungs. So imagine those lungs being cleansed here as they kind of turn upside down. They don't really, but <laughs> the oxygen, right? As we breathe in here, the bottom of the lungs. Exhale. Inhale. Now let's exhale, walk the hands over towards that left foot, and then bend that left knee, lift the heart, bring the hands in front of the heart for our skandhasana. Mm -hmm. Breathing here for a few breaths. Our lungs are upright again. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Now exhale to bring those hands to frame that left foot, but pivot both feet towards the narrow edge of your mat, Coming into your high lunge as you bend that knee and rise with the arms overhead. You can lower that right ankle down if you want for beer of one, or you can lift the heel. We'll pause. Inhale. Let's exhale to straighten that leg. And hinging at the waist, bring that heart parallel with the left foot. Our to have parts with your muscle or our half pyramid. Inhale. Exhale, engage torso. Then exhale, bring those hands in front of that left shin or ankle. And then get that base in the feet. And then we'll open that right arm to the sky for tree for our summit. And let the breath go. Exhale. This is nice for the liver on the right side of the body. So let it breathe here in our triangle. Close that right hand and meet the left. Pause here and notice the low back. As those hands are together, and then we'll open up the right arm to start once more. Let the breath go. Exhale, bring that right hand to meet the left. Let's bend that knee. Rise up for our rear one. Uh huh. Now let's exhale to bring both hands in front of the heart. Pause. And now bring the hands to frame that foot. I know we're facing the back of our mat. It's okay. Let's step the left foot back for our plank pose. Breathing in our plank. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, or Krishnasana. Now exhale back. Adama Krishnasana. Pause. <sighs> and now let's step the left foot forward between the hands. And now pivot both feet be toward the long edge. So now we're in our wide legged forward fold. And pause here. Inhale to bring arms up to the side. Maybe bring the hands towards the low back. And just rest those hands, maybe they clasp on the low back. And now let's bend the knees slightly. And then just lift those hands off the low back. You reach those hands that clasp towards the ceiling. Let the crown of the head come parallel with the floor. And now, whichever is easiest, you can rise up with the arms behind the back, or you can lower those hands to the low back and then rise. Really slowly, guys. Shoulders over hips. Exhale. And now release those hands. Let those arms come overhead. Exhale, bring the hands in prayer in front of the heart. Pivot the feet towards the front of the mat and then step it forward and we'll meet in that pose. 
<sighs> Slow the feet, shoulders up, back and down. Inhale, exhale. Let's bring those arms overhead. Keep those hands separated. Exhale, sit down, Uttakatasana. Let's tuck the pelvis. Pause here. Notice the big toe can keep toe pad and heel of the foot. And lift the toes off of the floor. And you might feel that in the shins and in the, in the top of the foot. And now release those toes down. And now come onto the balls of the feet, lifting the heels off the ground. Let's rise up into Talasana, keeping those heels lifted as we come into a nice long standing. And now from here, with control, we're going to come back to our chair pose, but keep the heels lifted. So we're going to bend those knees, just bend the knees with the heels. Slow, 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 sit down in your chair pose. And now let's keep those heels lifted if you can. Bring the arms behind the back. Interlace the hands. And then let's fold forward, lowering those heels down. As we draw those hands to the sky, heels lower. Uttanasana. Inhale. Now exhale, release the hands to the low back. And then release the clasp, bring the hands to the shins. Let's inhale to a flat back. And then sigh of the breath home. <sighs> exhale, drop the hips, bring the arms up overhead, Uta Katasana. And then exhale, bring the hands in front of the heart. Let's ground the right foot, step the left foot back. And then bring the arms out like the two. Mm -hmm. Exhale, twist towards the right. And now lower that left knee to the ground. And bring the top of the left foot to the floor. Bring that right hand towards that left calf for a little bit of a back bend. And then exhale, bring the left hand on the inside of that right foot. Plant the left hand, reach the right hand to sky. And now curl the toes of the left foot under. And we'll lift up into our revolved side knee pose. And if you have a block, you can use a block here. Inhale. Now exhale, bring that right hand down on the right side of that foot. Inhale, bring the arms up overhead, crescent lunge. And now exhale, bring both hands on the inside of that right foot. And now lower that left heel to the ground, pivot both feet towards the long edge. And now we're in our wide legged forward fold. Let the breath go. Breathe in. Exhale. Now let's bring both hands kind of towards those knees. And with the hands on the knees, just imagine the crown of the head parallel with the floor and the nose is peeking through between the calves or the knees. Breathe in and out. And now let's exhale to gently roll up in the knees as much as you need to, to come to standing slowly. With control, pivot the feet towards the front of the mat. And keep those arms down. The right foot is forward, the left foot is back. And then as you're ready, we're going to come into our chair pose by bringing that left foot forward. So maybe shift the weight and the heart towards that right foot. And then grab into that right foot, lift the left foot off the ground, and plant it beside the right. And then any variation with the arms. Breathe in. And out. Let's lift the toes off the ground for a moment and then ground the toes. Now exhale, ground the left foot. And as you're ready, bring that right foot off the ground and then we'll step it back. Inhale to rise for pressing. And exhale, bring the arms wide. Breathe in, shoulders back. Let's exhale to twist towards the left. The hands reaching for the narrow edges of the mat. Breathe in. And now let's exhale to lower that right knee to the floor with control. And as you're on the, on the exhale, that left hand can come towards that right calf. Right arm to sky. Pause. And then exhale to bring that right hand on the inside. And the left foot, the right arm up towards the heavens. And maybe here with control, you bring that right foot off the ground. That right knee off the ground, excuse me. 
And exhale here. Mm -hmm. Use twist, cleansing the body for spring. <laughs> Grounding here. And we're cleansing the lungs. Exhale, bring that left hand down to frame the left foot. And now let's pivot both feet over towards the right side if you want. So both feet face the long edge of the mat. And then here we are, wide legged forward fold. Mm -hmm. Exhale. <sighs> if you can, we bring your peace fingers towards the big toes. And then we're going to shift the weight into the balls of the feet. And maybe try to kind of square those, those elbows as if you're a 90 degree angle from the shoulder to the elbow to the wrist. And it doesn't have to be, just another variation. Just bending, kind of pulling your chest down by pulling onto the big toe with those fingers. Now let's pause. And now exhale, release the pull on the toes. And now release the hands, draw them underneath the heart space. Pause, bend the knees. And now walk the hands over towards the right. We're not going to lift the heart, but we're going to come into his little side lunge, just bending that right knee. And then exhale, walking over to the left, keeping ourselves folded, but just bending that left knee. And now bring the hands towards the middle, underneath the heart. And now let's point the toes toward the corners of the mat. And now with control, bring the knees, lift the heart just slightly, then lift it a little more, and we'll come into our goddess squat. Ah. And the front of the heart, where your toes point. Ah. And now maybe lift the toes off of the floor and try to keep those knees tracking towards the pinky edge of the foot. That's what's going to engage the inner thigh. Now let's lower those toes, maybe. And then maybe we lift the right heel off the ground, grounding the ball at right foot. And we can ground the ball to the left foot with the left heel. And let's straighten the legs, but keep those balls of the feet on the ground. The heels are lifted. So we're only on the balls of the feet. And then we'll try to bend those knees again, keeping the heels off the floor. And then maybe you try that one more time to straighten those legs. The heels are lifted. Exhale to goddess squat. Then lower those heels down. And inhale, bring your arms out nice and wide. Straighten those legs wide or extended mountain pose, Utita Tadasana. Exhale. Let's point that left foot towards the long edge and the right foot towards the short edge. And now from here, exhale, we bring that right hand to the inside of that thigh. Here's our Trikonasana once again. Exhale, releasing heat out the left side body. Breathe in and out. Inhale, draw that left arm up and come into the shoulders over the hips. Exhale, pivot that right foot towards the long edge. Bring the hands towards the hips. Bend the knees. Exhale, wide legged like forward fold. <sighs> Letting go. Some pause here. Any variation with the arms. You can be behind the back in class, reaching for the ceiling. Alan T. They can be on the calves, on the big toes. Breathe in. Now exhale, bend those knees. Inhale to come to stand with teeth and tadasana, extended mountain pose. Uh huh, really good. Any variation with those arms, really nice. Give the left foot towards the narrow edge, that right foot stays towards the long edge. And then reach that left hand past the left toes and exhale to hinge at the waist for our trikonasana on the other side. Releasing out of the right side of the body some heat. Inhale. Exhale. Let's bring that right arm to the sky and bring the shoulders over the hips. Exhale, pivot that left foot towards the long edge, and then we'll cleanse it up in the knees. Exhale, forward fold. Wide legged forward fold. <sighs> Breathe in. Exhale, sigh. 
Another breath in. Now let's walk the hands over towards whichever foot is facing the front of the mat, and then pivot our feet towards the front of the mat, and then exhale to step the feet to the front of the mat, the hands plant, bend the knees, let's rise up to the mountain post. And bring the hands in front of the heart. Okay, inhale. And exhale, fold it forward. <sighs> inhale, let's step it back to the right toes. Feet nice and long. And then lower the knees down to the floor. And keep those hands planted. Now let's slowly bring the tops of the feet to the floor. Exhale to bend the elbows, lowering that nose down between the hands. And then as you're ready, exhale to press up and pause at the top. And now we're going to lower down the nose. We're going to lower down nice and slow. So start to bend the elbows for three. Start to lower down for two. Lower down a little more for one. And then exhale to bring that nose to the ground. And exhale to press it up and pause at the top. Now we're going to lower down for four. So start to bend the elbows for four. Begin to lower down the nose, the heart for three. Lower down a little more for two, a little more for one. And then that nose comes to the ground. Exhale, press it up and pause. We'll do that one more time. Begin to bend the elbows for five. Lower down just a little bit for four. Lower a little more for three. Two, the nose is a little closer to the ground, closer for one, and then the nose comes to the earth. You can exhale, press it up, and bring yourself back to your child's pose, the last enough. Flip those palms to the sky and release that effort on the inside of the arms. And feel yourself grounded, nourished here, just like a little seedling. And exhale. Bring your awareness to the feet, and the knees, the hips, the shoulders. Inhale. And exhale. Let's inhale to bring ourselves to table. And exhale when you get there. Mm -hmm. And now let's walk the hands forward just about a hand print. And then we'll curl the toes under and we'll find ourselves in our plank pose. And now from our plank, let's exhale to bring that right foot under, or the right knee under the chest, and the right foot over to the left side, off of the mat, onto the floor. Yep. And then let's bring the left foot to the ground, the left heel to the ground. Open up for a fallen triangle, the left arm to sky. Uh huh. And then bring the left hand back to the earth. Come on to the ball, that left foot, bring the right leg through, back to plank. And then we'll bring that right knee to the chest. Send that foot off the mat, plant the foot. Come on to the heel. And like, you know, a side plank set up with the left foot. Yep, and then open up the left arm to sky. Close that hand back to plank hands. Bring the left ball the foot to the ground. Bring the right foot through for plank. Pause. And then one more time, bring the right knee to the chest. Send that right foot off the mat to the floor. Bring the left heel and foot to the ground, the left arm to the sky, fall and try. Keep the hips lifted nice. And then exhale, the left hand comes to the floor. Bring your right foot through. Exhale to downward facing dog. And then we'll exhale to our child's pose, lowering his knees. Sits palms to the heels and palms to the sky. Really activating the heat on the liver and spleen sides of the bodies today. So bringing that cleansing heat and energy there. Notice the lungs fill them with air. And now let's inhale to draw up to the table. Exhale when you get there. Ah. Walk the hands forward to hand grip. And now curl the toes under for plank. A nice strong base for plank. Let's draw the left knee under the chest. 
and then bring the left foot off to the side of the mat. Pivot the right foot down, reach the right arm to the sky for the following triangle. And then exhale, bring the right hand down to the floor. And then inhale and send the left foot back for plank. Breathe in. Exhale, bring the left knee under the chest. Send the left foot off the mat. Pick up the right heel down. Right arm up to sky. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Bring the left knee through and the left foot back. Halakasana. Exhale, bring the left knee in. Bring the left foot off the floor. Drop the back of the floor, right heel pivots down, right arm opens up with the hips. Breathing in and out. And now exhale to bring that hand to the floor. Bring the knee to the chest and then send the foot back. We'll exhale to downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. And then we'll lower down the knees and sit back for child pose. Maybe here you bring the hands to reach towards the wall behind you to open up the tops, the shoulders and the side of the neck. A few more breaths right here. And then as you're ready, you can make your way onto your stomach, so you can make your way to your back. However you make that way to your back is fine. And then once you're on your back, let's bring the knees over the hips. Those ankles in line with the knees, arms to come out like a T. And then we'll exhale to drop the knees over to the right. Her reclined twist. And soften the feet, soften the hips. And then maybe bringing the breath into a four count breath. And then exhale, you can press the hands to the floor and draw those knees through the middle. And exhale, those knees coming over to the left. <clears throat> Arms are wide. And let the breath go. And we'll exhale to bring the knees over the hips. Hug the knees to the chest. Massaging that low back. If you want to bring the chain to the chest, then you can bring a little massage to the mid back. And then lower the shoulder blades to the floor. And maybe find the Big toes with the peace fingers, kind of like what we explored in our wide legged forward pull and come into happy baby. And exhale. And slowly. And then bringing those heels together and release the fingers from the toes. And then slowly let those heels kind of come together onto the floor. And the hips drop open. And we'll pause and have a recline butterfly for a few breaths. Ah, just the shoulder blades. Maybe bringing awareness to the lungs and their expansion. Mm -hmm. 
you whenever you're ready, you can bring the legs long and neutral or any position for your Shavasana. Any expression of Shavasana to bring yourself into the consciousness of corpse pose. Allowing yourself to rest. And then you'll be letting out a deep sigh when you get there, softening the gaze even more than you ever thought you could. And just imagine receiving and being in all that you need for the manifestation of your intention that has already come to be. Thank you. 
Giving yourself a moment to scan the body. Consciously fill the lungs with life. And then as you're ready, slowly making your way maybe to one side and then to seated or up to seated. Notice the tops of the lungs and the middle of the lungs, and the lower portion of the lungs. Give yourself another cleansing breath in and out. Now let's inhale to close. Oh, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> oh, thank you so much. Oh.